Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's quick video, I'll walk you through how to update your MTH WTIU. For those who don't know, MTH recently released the WTIU as a replacement for the TIU. Since launch, they've rolled out a few software updates, and I've noticed a lot of people, both online and in person, asking how to update theirs. So I put together this simple step-by-step -step tutorial to make the process easy. Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more model train content, tutorials, and reviews coming your way, so stick around. Let's dive right in. To update the MTH WTIU, you need the WTIU itself, its power adapter, and a laptop, desktop, or tablet with Wi-Fi access. While it's possible to use a phone, it's more challenging, so a larger device is recommended. First, unplug your WTIU and ensure the home MTH switch is set to the MTH position. Then plug it back in and wait for the Wi-Fi light to turn blue, the track lights to turn green, and the power light to turn green. Next, open your computer or tablet and launch a web browser of your choice. I prefer Google Chrome. Navigate to www.mthtrains.com and at the top of the page, click on the uh, DCS update link. This is where you'll download the update package. Then, Switch your computer or tablet's Wi-Fi network to the WTIU's network, which will start with MTH-DCS. In the same browser window, type 192.168.143.1 into the address bar and press Enter. To log into the WTIU web portal, Use the username root and the password MTHDCS. If you've previously changed the portal password, enter that password instead. Next, click on the system, then select backup slash flash firmware. Scroll down and click on flash new firmware image, then select the file you previously downloaded from the MTH website. When prompted, select Keep Settings and Retain the Current Configuration. At this point, you should see a message saying, Flashing, do not power off the device. It's crucial that you do not remove any power from the WTIU while it is updating. If the power is cut during the update, it could permanently damage the WTIU. You must wait until the WTIU restarts and fully comes back up. This means the Wi-Fi light should be blue, the track lights should be green, and the power lights should be green. Your WTIU should now be fully updated. You can safely disconnect the power from your WTIU or grab a tablet and start running your trains. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and model railroading content. See you in the next one.